the compressor, its components and their function. The label contains all important information for the customer as well as for the dispatch. It concerns data such as the type name, the refrigerant, the mains voltage and frequency as well as information on how to connect the compressor. The suction connector. It's connected with the refrigerating circuit of the respective appliance. Coming from the evaporator, the refrigerant is sucked in through the suction connector. At this compressor, the process and the discharge connector are on the opposite side. The process connector. It's used for charging the appliance with the refrigerant. This takes place at the appliance's manufacturer when the compressor is already mounted in the appliance. The discharge connector. It is firmly connected with the refrigerating circuit of the appliance in the same way as the suction connector. Through this connector, the compressor discharges the compressed refrigerant to the condenser. The electrical connection of the compressor is visible from the outside. Here, depending on the type, the appropriate starting equipment is installed and provided with a protective cover. The compressor shell. It consists of a punched steel sheet. The cover is welded together with the housing. This connection is hermetically sealed to prevent a leakage of the refrigerant. Inside of the housing, four spring holders are installed at the bottom to center the compressor unit in the housing. On the outside, two base plates are attached for the assembly of the compressor in the appliance. the motor and the starting equipment. The starter, the rotor and the power cable are the main parts of the motor. The motor is mounted onto springs so that vibrations are not transferred to the compressor shell. This ensures a low noise level during operation. The starter consists of a starter stack which is welded together out of sheet metals and two windings of enameled copper wires. A start and a main winding. The windings are protected against the loosening of individual wires to avoid damage. The rotor is an iron core cast in aluminium. A suitable starting unit is installed depending on the compressor type and later application. Here a PTC starting unit is shown on the right and a starting relay on the left. The starting unit is mounted on the current lead-in of the compressor shell. It's the starting unit's task to supply the start winding with power for a short moment in order to enable the starting of the compressor. As soon as this has happened, the motor operates only through the main winding. The starting unit is connected with the current lead-in of the compressor's shell. The power cable ensures a flexible connection to the motor. The piston cylinder unit. It consists of a block on which the discharge tube is mounted. A crankshaft at the bottom of which the oil pump is mounted for the lubrication of the pump unit as well as a piston with a piston rod connected by a piston pin. This block has two discharge chambers. From these chambers the compressed refrigerant passes through the discharge tube to the discharge connector of the compressor. The turns of the discharge tube increase the flexibility of the tube. They minimize the oscillations of the pump unit and prevent the tube from breaking during operation. The crankshaft is firmly connected to the rotor and transforms the rotational motion of the motor over the piston rod into strokes of the piston. These strokes make the piston in the cylinder move up and down and thus the refrigerant is sucked in, compressed and discharged again. The valve unit The valve unit essentially consists of a valve plate, 
a valve cover, a muffler, as well as two valve gaskets. The suction and the discharge valve are installed on the valve plate. Both valves are bleed valves made out of spring steel and they open and close the openings of the valve plate during the suction and discharge process respectively. Thus, the compressed refrigerant moves into the discharge chambers of the block. The muffler forms a connection between the suction connector of the shell and the suction side of the pump unit and it is its task to minimise the suction noise. The glass model clearly shows how the compressor functions. The compressor pumps the refrigerant through the refrigerating circuit with about 3000 revolutions per minute. The compressor, the heart of the refrigerator, 